Hi guys, it's a blue Monday, as you see on our side, okay, uh, it's a, what's this thing, mother and daughter, talk. okay guys, uh, so this morning, girl, girl, we're just chatting, I'm just gonna ask her some few questions, girl, why are you not going to the meatball, like, mama, what is it? Is it a mood ball or? She means my trick ball. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she means my trick ball. Okay, I means fine, you know? Yeah, my trick ball. Okay, I'm not going to the trick ball mainly because um, I I have to go somewhere. Where is somewhere? Um, it's a educational camp, or Lundin. So I have to study for seven days there to prepare myself for the finals. So I just rather choose preparing myself for the finals than going for the matric ball. Although it's a one night thing, but then I, but then I just feel like I'd rather spend money on what's what what I'm gonna gain more than you know the matric ball. On that note, it just make me feel bad. I look at my ball, matric ball, matric ball. This thing, I want to have a matric. Happy, good. See, I'm going. I'm gonna be on high heels. I'm gonna be in that dress. But the decision I came okay, uh, has made me realize, good. You know what? In life, uh, the decision that we take now then shall affect us and future. So hopefully she's gonna gain what she is going for, La Payana. I understand. Yeah. Anyway, I just want to ask you. She needs to be honest with this one. Yo. Why you love your mom? Like, like I, I have been not good sometimes, life wise. You know. Why you turn into like when and you feel like I am that special mom to you because some of us didn't didn't get that opportunity like you know my mama guys that was umbrella so why girl what does I do what does I do uh -uh. you said what does I do <laughs> She's a comedian, you know. <laughs> like a, a day never goes by that I don't laugh, you know. And you know, laugh is the best medicine to, you know, forget about the things that you like facing, you know, as a teenager. So you know, she's just there as my comedian, you know. I don't have to go to a, a, a stand-up um, concert for um, where there's comedians, and I have to look for something to laugh about, you know, because I have one here. So I basically don't need to go for those stand-up whatever it is that is called. Cool. And um, basically, she carried me for nine months. I think it's everything that every child says, but then there's a deeper meaning that um, is there for each and every one of us. We actually mean it that, wow, you actually carried me for nine months. But I was absent about five years when you were five. Yeah, but then that doesn't change the fact that you're my mother. It doesn't change the fact that you decided to carry me for nine months while you had so many options to abortion to um i don't know whatever it is you know i had so many options laid out for you but but then you decided to carry me for nine months and keep on going you know although you didn't even know how my future is going to be although you didn't know how you were going to support me financially emotionally spiritually but then here you are you are supporting me with all of that you know and you just had hope in me in some way you know so that's why you're so important to me because you had hope in me and i also have hope in you you know so yeah, um, you're very much important. I could go the whole day explaining how special and important my mom is. But right now, I'm writing my paper. She has things to do as a businesswoman. But it's just a few things. I will talk more about it on our next video. That's if you're going to be there. So you have to stay tuned. Okay, what can you say to someone who's young right now? I uh, was writing and was feeling hopeless or I was feeling like giving up. What can you tell them? Like in all my choices. Um you know, as a student myself, I I know that somehow God has a plan for me, you know. Somehow I have a bright future. 
you know, I may not even get it in 10 years. I may not get it. Maybe I might struggle for a whole 10, 10 years in order for me to, you know, get what God has in store for me. So all I can say is Jeremiah 29, 11. God knows the plan, plans he has for you. It's plans to prosper you. They're not evil, but they are to prosper you and to give you a bright future. So just hold on to that. Hold on to that. We all have we all have a bright future as the youth. There's so many opportunities for us out there. The world is our oyster. One um, one of my aunties told me that on my sweet sixteen that the world is my oyster. And I'm telling this to the youth too that the world is your oyster. You can do literally anything that you set your mind and heart to. Mm, wow. Okay, guys. I guess the pasta is poking. The pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Bye. <laughs>